aneurysms are probably more common than you think. We find them oftentimes in patients who may come in after a, a trauma or have had a head CT or an MRI scan for headaches or an unrelated uh, symptom. If you learned a blood vessel in your brain was blowing up like a balloon, what would you do? The real question is, once you discover an aneurysm, how do you manage it? Um, and uh, you know, a lot of that gets back to where the aneurysm is located, the size of the aneurysm, and, and how its overall morphology, how it appears. You can see that she has a very sizable aneurysm arising uh, from her carotid artery. Some aneurysms will never cause a problem, but they all merit surveillance, and some may benefit from proactive surgery. If it's something that looks a little more ominous or larger in size, the thought process being that larger aneurysms may be more likely to rupture. As many as half the people who experience a burst aneurysm don't make it to the hospital. Today, doctors have a specialized surgery that can go into the brain and fix the aneurysm without surgery. Called coiling, surgeons thread a catheter through an artery and place a platinum coil inside the bloated blood vessel. You can see it's very, very, very soft and pliable, and uh, it kind of has a pre-configured shape to it, so as you deploy it, it kind of takes on these bends and turns, and, and uh, that's just sort of the characteristic property of the coil. The coil creates an internal structure that collects blood. The platelets love to stick to the platinum and essentially sort of clots the aneurysm. This technology allows surgeons to treat high-risk aneurysms in a less invasive manner, but is something you should discuss with your specialist. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.